Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Tuesday, the 29th of August. Indian capital gears up to host crucial G20 summit. Pakistan ex-PM Imran Khan's craft conviction suspended. And trout dense Sri Lanka's economy's hopes, farmers' livelihoods. And now for all the details. Grand preparations are underway in New Delhi as India is set to host the crucial G20 summit on September 9th and 10th. Public spaces across the national capital are getting spruced up while security has been beefed up in the run-up to the event. The group of 20 is made up of 19 countries as well as the European Union. The annual summit witnesses world leaders discussing global issues like environment, trade and economy. Public holidays have also been announced in Delhi from September 8th to 10th with the closure of banks and commercial establishments. As part of the preparations, multiple hotels have been earmarked for the attendees. Delhi is prepared for its own people. Delhi is prepared for its own people. The main targets of the main targets of the main targets are the main targets of the main targets. The main targets of the main Plants and India assumed the G20 presidency last December and has held a series of meetings since then in major cities before the main summit. During the two-day event, India hopes to forge agreement among members on matters ranging from reforms of multilateral banks to developing a global approach on cryptocurrencies. And ahead of Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit to India for the G20 summit, Beijing on Monday released a standard map which shows the Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh as Chinese territory. The map also depicts parts of India's Ladakh region occupied by Beijing during 1962 Indochina War as part of China. The recent aggression comes amid India's repeated concern about issues along the Indochina border. The relation between the two Asian supergiants has been sour since the armies of the two countries engaged in a deadly clash in the Galvan Valley in 2020. Recently, on the sidelines of BRICS summit, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, in a brief conversation with the Chinese president, had also called on Beijing to respect the LAC in order to bring normalcy in bilateral ties. And in a major relief for former Premier Imran Khan, the Islamabad High Court on Tuesday suspended Khan's conviction in the Tosha Khanna case. Earlier this month, the trial court had sentenced the PTI party supremo to three years' jail for unlawfully selling state gifts during his tenure as the Prime Minister. He was also barred by the Election Commission from holding any public office for five years. While the Islamabad High Court has ordered Khan's release on bail, it remains uncertain whether he'll be freed as there are court orders for his arrest in other cases. Meanwhile, widespread demonstrations are taking place across Pakistan due to inflated electricity bills amid record high inflation. Take a look. Massive protests have erupted across Pakistan as people have expressed anger over inflated electricity bills despite less consumption. In a demonstration in Karachi, people also burned and tore down their bills in a symbolic act of resistance. The protesters said overbilling has become a norm due to a nexus between corrupt officials and power distribution companies. They blamed the government for not considering the plight of the common man amid the ongoing economic crisis. तो भाई ये सारे मिलके जो जातियां कर रहे हैं इससे पहले के लोग आवाम खड़ी हो जाए ये लोग बाज आ जाएं The ongoing situation has underscored the country's challenges with costly power infrastructure and commitments that citizens are finding increasingly difficult to sustain एक तो लाइट जाती है चार चार घंटे हैं लोड शेयरिंग इतनी की भी इन लोगों ने और जो है ना बिल इतने ज़्यादा बढ़ा दिए हम क्या कर सकते हैं बताओ गरीब आदमी क्या करे 
गैस की दो साल हो गए लोड शेडिंग है बिजली है तो नहीं है तो गरीब आदमी कहाँ तक पूरा करेगा ये बताओ लकड़ियाँ जला रहे हैं आओ आके देखो हमारे घर में Well, the Bangladesh's cabinet on Monday approved the draft of the new Cyber Security Act 2023, replacing the much-debated Digital Security Act 2018, criticised by many as a draconian curb on dissent. Four non-bailable offences: accessing critical information illegally, damaging computer systems, cyber terrorism, and hacking, have been kept in the final draft. Stakeholders and human rights organizations have however lamented that no major changes have been brought except for reducing the punishment and making some sections bailable. PM Sheikh Hasina has maintained tight control since coming to power in 2009 and has been accused by opposition groups of cracking down on free speech, muzzling dissent and jailing critics. Western governments and rights groups have also criticized the government for cracking down on anti-government protest. Moving on the drought in Sri Lanka due to climate changes threatening the country's summer rice harvest leading to reduced yields and severely affecting the farmers a report The drought in Sri Lanka due to climate change is severely affecting farmers leading to reduced yields and impacting the country's overall economy The island's economy was crushed last year by its worst financial crisis caused by a severe shortage of foreign exchange reserves But even before the country's agriculture sector could recover from skyrocketing prices, the rains failed. 63-year-old farmer H J M Senivaratne was seen slicing through yellowed paddy stems, crisped by a drought that has destroyed over 95% of his crop. Even if I'm being mad, I'll be there. 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 एक मतलब कहने को दिन कट दिन तूने कट वाके तो मैं सह है नहीं बी मट पामा है तो यानी कोई डर कर गांडर तो हमें तो मैं होया गांडी पार दिया लिंग होली राइस इस द स्टेपल फूड ऑफ़ द कंट्रीज़ 22 मिलियन पीपल एंड इट्स बिगेस्ट क्रॉप सिनिविराटनी's family estimates that they need at least 46 dollars per month for essentials but with their rice crop gone and barely any seed paddy for the next season in October they worry for their future Sri Lanka has so far ruled out rice imports this year a statement from the president's office said as regions that have escaped the drought have produced higher yields <laughs> महाबली and uh, ever, everything was abandoned as per there is not shortage of food there is not there's a, a friendly relation with uh, all the people and uh, calm situation was there well onam is long awaited across kerala as it is believed the harvest festival heralds prosperity and happiness in the society people also participate in fun activities like dancing and swinging Several cultural events were also organized on the occasion which witnessed youngsters taking part with much enthusiasm along with grand feasting. Well that's all in tonight's edition we'll see you same time tomorrow good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.